So, hey, everybody, we are living in a time where people are highly sensitive and very easily offended. So you could go out and you could run into some kind of dispute and you're like, where the heck did that come from? I saw um, a viral video about a Lyft driver and a passenger yesterday. And when I saw that video, I was like, well, that was weird. And that escalated very quickly. I mean, these are the times we're living in. So I, I'm a little bit late per usual, right? I think this video went viral roughly about a week ago, but I just saw it yesterday. And if you haven't seen it, I'm just going to play a brief clip of it, take a look at the video and we are going to talk about this craziness. Hello, for Jackie, right? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, you're like a white guy. What's that? And you like a white guy? Excuse me? Are you like a normal guy? Like you speak English? Sorry, sorry. No, you can get out of the car. I'm gonna cancel a ride. That's inappropriate. What? It's completely inappropriate. If somebody was not white sitting in the seat, what would be the difference? Are you serious? She said, wow, you're a white guy. Oh, well. That's okay. I'm not going to take the ride. You guys can get out. Really? Yeah. Completely inappropriate. Oh, you're a f***ing asshole. It's all on you're camera, man. It's all on I camera. I should punch you in the f***ing face. Oh you're going to threaten God. me? Yeah. Assault? I'm threat yeah. You. Wow. Because you guys are racist You're a f***ing asshole. Yeah. She got into the car. It's very clear that she probably thought, because I was looking at him, and from certain angles, he does look kind of Mexican. Because before you get into a lift ride, you can see a photo of your driver. But probably in person, she's looking at him and she's like, oh, wow, okay, you know, he's greeting me in a normal American accent. So it's very clear to me, you know, he's a white guy. So I think she was relieved by that. Just like, oh my gosh, another white person, you know. It's frustrating to some people to communicate with other people who don't speak English very well. And as somebody who used to drive for Lyft, um, I would have a lot of passengers who would get into my car and they would unload. They wanted to talk about different things. But if your driver doesn't speak English very well, you know, you're not going to have a lengthy conversation with them in a lot of cases, right? And listen, I'm not giving an excuse to anybody because as I do with everything, I'm going to talk about this subjectively. I can understand why the Lyft driver was a little bit put off because he's like, uh, what are you saying here? And you, you can tell, like, there are so many thoughts running through his head and he's like, uh, should I be offended by this? Because we're living in a world where a lot of people are easily offended and we're kind of being taught what we should be offended by. I can guarantee you, if this were two black people in that lift ride, another black person got into the lift ride with a black driver and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you, you know, you're, you're a black dude or girl, yeah, you're black. You know, nobody would think anything of it. Just be like, okay. It would never have went viral. Some people are more comfortable with people who look like them. That's just the bottom line. They're more comfortable because you, a lot of times you have the same culture, you have the same understandings about certain things, not everything, because it seemed like the passenger, the woman, she got into the car kind of thinking, oh yeah, we're both white. So maybe you automatically think like me. And this has happened with me a lot of times with, you know, other black people. They're like, yeah, you know, you assume people think like you, they have the same political opinions as you, just because there are a lot of people who are from your cultural background who may think similarly in a lot of different ways. But these days, you absolutely cannot assume. You know, it's almost like he took her saying, I'm glad you're white, right? That's essentially what she was saying as her saying like, oh, I, I don't like other people. And I think she was just mainly glad that he was a white person who spoke English like she did. Now, when we were talking about the husband, he gets in and 
he realizes they're being kicked out. He's like, you can get out of my car, which was really extreme. It's like, dude, really, you got to kick her out because of that. Like, it's so extreme and unnecessary. You can, why can't people just say like, hey, you know, I'm offended by that. Can you not say that? I didn't like it when you said that. You got to go all extreme. I'm kicking you out of my car. Look, I got a camera right there. Ha, I got you, right? This is my viral moment. Get out. So I can understand why the passengers were upset. I can understand why the driver felt a little bit weird about them saying that. It's like, uh, uh, I'm white. Yeah, okay. You know, it's weird, right? The whole interaction was weird. And the husband of the wife, you know, I can understand why they both were upset. But why would you give more validation to what the driver is trying to insinuate? Right? Racism, just because you're saying, I'm glad you're another white person. Now, the male passenger, he's about to get into the vehicle and he realizes that they aren't able to take their lift ride. So he gets so upset, he calls the driver an end lover. And which is usually a derogatory term used for black people. And in this particular situation, it had nothing to do with a black person. And let me just say, because I've said this in other videos before, I don't like it when black people use the N-word and I don't like it when white people or any other racial group uses the N-word. Why? It is a derogatory term. Why would anybody use it? And in the climate, the racial climate we're living in right now, why, why would you even want to make yourself look to be some racist fool? Why would you do that? You're validating why he's kicking you out of your vehicle. Had that man not said that, the passenger, I think even a lot more people would have been looking at the driver like, well, you know, was it really that necessary to kick them out? So as I said before, I used to drive for Lyft and you can see the photo of your driver uh, before you decide to have them pick you up, right? As a driver, I could see that, okay, somebody needs a ride. I'm in the vicinity. I'm going to accept that ride. And then if based on whatever reason, they didn't want to ride with me, whether it was my vehicle, my race, my gender, whatever reason they didn't want to ride with me, they could choose to cancel that ride, um, which was what happened to me. So I accepted a ride. And I was new to driving Lyft at the time. So I accepted a ride and then I get all the way to the house before I realize, because I'm like, I can't tap, I'm here, what's going on? And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> this person canceled. I had to go to another screen. It was just basically me getting acclimated to the app because I was new. So I was like, oh, they canceled. Okay, I drove all the way here for nothing. So I had to leave. And then probably like months later, this same person requested a ride and I accepted. And then very shortly after, within like maybe 30 seconds, they canceled. So I'm like, oh, that was the same place I went to last time. They canceled again. And then sometime later, they, same address, they requested a ride. I accept it. They canceled again. I'm like, oh, wait, wait a minute. They don't want me to pick them up for whatever reason, right? It could have been the fact that I'm black or a woman or whatever reason. I don't know. So I was just like, okay, you know what? If that uh, address comes through again, I am not going to accept. I have learned that they do not want me to pick them up. So people have certain preferences, you know, even in the corporate world, People have certain people that they want to hire. And a lot of times, not a lot of times, but sometimes people want to hire people who look more like them because they think that they can relate to those people better. And a lot of times when you think about that, you're thinking, oh, it's, it's just the white people. No, it's not. Because I don't know if I've mentioned this before, which may be a little bit embarrassing, but I have actually had over 80 different jobs from corporate to retail, temp, all different kinds of jobs, but I've had over 80 different jobs throughout my entire life. 
um, which is really crazy. But during those experiences, I've noticed I've had times where I would have phone interviews and it was a lot different after the initial email uh, application process because a lot of times people say, I'm so excited to meet you. You know, your resume is great. And then I would get on the phone with these people and then they were like, oh, it was just a different energy. And I'm like, they probably didn't know I was black, right? And this is not me trying to stir up racial tensions. Like we're just going to keep it 100% honest here. But also on the flip side, I would go into interviews and I remember one manager, she basically told me, it's nice to have another black person. You know, she said she liked my resume and everything too, but she talked about the fact that I'm black and that seemed to be a big motivation for one of the reasons why she wanted to hire me. She wanted to get another black person in there. And I had other jobs that were like that too. So let's not act like it's only white people, okay? It's black people. It's my husband who uh, worked as an engineer. He he worked with mostly Indian people on his team because his boss was Indian and he hired most people who were from his original country, right? Let's not act like this stuff doesn't happen where people don't want to work with or be around people who are more so from their cultural background, okay? It happens all around. But I do want to say this too, that when I was working, and I got the job. I was hired by so many white people and multiple other people from different racial backgrounds. So there's not a thing where if you're black, you're automatically not going to get the job because the person who's in charge of hiring is white or from some other racial background. And same thing with a, a lot of black people. There are a lot of black people and people from other racial backgrounds who hire people from other different racial backgrounds, okay? So there's not a one size fits all. You have some people who feel very comfortable even in different social settings or in a Lyft or Uber ride, riding with other people who look different from them. So I just wanted to make sure I added that piece of information to say, don't get so caught up in stereotypes or don't automatically think you're going to be counted out because somebody has a different racial background. There are just some people at certain points in their lives where they feel more comfortable around people who are a closer fit to their cultural background. Okay, but the bottom line is when you go back to this particular lift incident, it was crazy and just weird energy all around. And I think the driver was extreme with kicking them out of the car. And I do think it was a little weird as one of the first things you say to say, oh, okay, hey, yeah, you're a white person. Oh, Woohoo, you know. Um, that could kind of make anybody like, huh, what are you talking about here, right? Um, but this further proves that we're living in a time where most people are on edge, right? Tensions are everywhere. And this lets us know, just be careful, like what we say and how we step, because we just never know how people are going to react. So in addition to that, it's very important that we are careful with how we're being influenced and I've talked about this so many times, but I think it's important to reiterate that the media does a good job with exacerbating these tensions that people have, right? We are being programmed with what we should be offended by. Because sometimes there are things that happen and people are like, well, should I be offended? Okay, I should be offended. Because if I'm not offended, then I'm probably going to be a bad person based on the whole long laundry list of things we should be offended by now. I mean, there are way too many people doing things to just kind of come across as some kind of hero or go viral or for whatever reason they want to do it, right? Maybe some people are just looking for attention. Everybody wants that moment of fame. And we just need to get back to the basic principle of things where we're grounded in our morals and we're not letting people tell us how or when we should be offended by things. So anyway, let me know what you think about that video. Do you agree with the driver? Do you agree with the passengers? Or what do you think 
But anyway, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next one.